All right, this is part two of playing on this banking, playing with the different modes. So a number of people had asked in the Facebook group about, well, you came to the conclusion rock crawl was best, but what about mud and ruts and auto? Well, the banking is on its way out now, but just before it went, I did a part two. I went back and I went back and because it was a different day, I did rock crawl again. I did mud ruts and I did the auto mode. So let's take a look. So first up, rock crawl. So like I said, we'd have some rain. Um, I wanted to make sure that we were comparing apples and apples. So that being the case, I did rock roll again. You can see it's locked up fully, both center and rear diff, and it's going up in a controlled manner. And uh, yeah, it just goes straight up, no problem. So modern ruts, how did this compare? So with modern ruts, it's quite interesting. So when it first turns in and it starts to lift a wheel and it senses that it's losing traction, what it'll do now is it will immediately start to lock up. Center was already locked, but it's locked the rear diff now. Up it goes. It's unlocked it again. It starts to lock it again when it feels that slippage. Up it goes, but then immediately unlocks. So it's really keen to unlock that rear locker, whereas Rock Crawl didn't. So what about Auto then? So auto mode is reactive, right? It, it, it doesn't actually know what's coming up. So the car's just have to use all the sensors it's got to try and work it out. So what it's shown here is it's now locked the center diff. It's coming on now to the rear locker and it looks like it's locked when you look at the video, but it's actually reporting on the screen uh, that that's completely fully unlocked. Now to me, I don't know about you, but that looks like it was locked to me. Um, so I don't think that's a software glitch, but auto mode certainly reported that um, it wasn't locked. So best way to compare them is obviously to get them all on the screen at the same time. So really calling out, you know, top we've got rock crawl, middle we've got the mud ruts, and bottom we've got auto, and just calling out what we've just um, seen a minute ago, which is rock crawl just locks everything up, center and rear. And then what you'll find is with mud ruts, you can see there it's opened up the uh, rear locker almost halfway up the hill. And um, as far as auto is concerned, still just not reporting that it's done that, uh, that lock on the rear. So just at you know, half speed here, because it, it was quite quick just going up there. So this is just for those of you that really wanted to uh, dig into this in more detail, try and work it out. Let me know if you spot anything in the comments that uh, I've missed. But from what I could see, um, and from a driving experience point of view, the rock crawl just felt like you were in complete control. Um, because although it's a kind of a, a control bit of slippage halfway up the hill, it felt like because it was locked, it was just under control. Modern routes felt like you were slipping a lot more and you know you then had that question, right, should I keep my foot on the gas or should I let go? Um, is questionable. As far as auto is concerned, it takes more time. You can see that it's not quite finished yet getting up the hill. It just takes more time uh, to get up there, but it does work it out and it does do the job. So for me, I stand by what I said, um, you know, rock crawls for me, but for you it might be different and different situations. I might find mud ruts um, is better as well, but it just seems for me, I think rock crawl is certainly uh, best from what I can see. But when saying that, Auto is better in that you don't have to do anything. Just set it in auto, let the car work it out. So let me know which mode you thought was best. Which would you use and maybe why? Thanks for watching.